one problem that we have in the contracting industry is managing forms. Many of you have lots of piece of paper, lots of pieces of paper that you throw around in your office to run your company and it's necessary. I'll give you an idea of some of the forms that we use here or I've used in my career as an HVAC person and as many of you know I'm an HVAC person. I, I say that because I'm very proud to be a product of the HVAC industry. I don't know where I would be without it. We use many different forms throughout my career to manage things. Like for example, a sales proposal. Many of you have a sales proposal. Here is my sales proposal. Fill in the blank, check the boxes, check here, check there, check the other place, and hopefully we get the sale. So that's a sales proposal. Uh, the problem with that is once you fill it out, the office has no idea what it looks like until you turn it into the office, but that's another story, right? But it's nice to have an excellent sales proposal and other documents that you fill out in the field like this one, and then you turn that into the office, and that becomes part of the customer's file. Now, after you make the sale, you might need a sales checklist. So here's our checklist. Open up the checklist, fill that out name, address, phone number, make, model, dimensions, things like that. So you put in the dimensions here, right? So that's 24 inches and maybe that's 12 inches and fill that out, 48 inches, you get the idea. So there's another great form. Again, the trouble is the office doesn't know anything about that form until they come to the office and drop it off. Now, hopefully we've made the sale and we are going to eventually inspect the furnace and do our precision tune-ups and professional cleanings, we might have a inspection for that. So here is a cooling system diagnostic sheet. You might fill out the customer's name, the make, model, serial number, capacitor, clean control department, yes or no, what's the rated voltage, what's the actual voltage, amperage. You've seen these before, right? Again, a great piece of paper, the problem is, is you fill it out and no one knows about that information until it's turned into the office. And what's more, you can't really do anything with the data because that data is not in your accounting software. Maybe you have used QuickBooks in the past. You're now using Total Office Manager. That information can't be mined. It can't be reported on if it's just a piece of paper. So. Aptora Mobile Form Builder was designed to overcome all these issues. Imagine having those forms inside the mobile product. That's exactly what we have. So let me explain how this product works by showing you the end result. Here I am in Aptora Mobile, and I will click More, and I'll click Plugins. Now you won't see this in your mobile until you invest in Aptora Mobile Form Builder, but let's say that you by the software, you install it, you're going to see a plugin menu, click plugins. You're going to see one plugin for now, Aptora Mobile Form Builder. We're working on more plugins, by the way, but you'll click on that and you'll see the various forms that you might have created for your own use. We also will provide you with a set of templates for you to get started with. So you might want to fill out a vehicle inspection report or maybe a comprehensive cooling system checkup. So let's do that. Let's click our comprehensive cooling system checkup and we'll click create new. And we're gonna go find the customer's name. I'll type in my name, I'll do James and there I am. Select James, click next. Now it automatically filled out the customer information so you don't have to fill out any of that information a second time, it's all there for you. You might select a piece of equipment. If you haven't come from that piece of equipment, you'll need to select a piece of equipment. You could have started this form from that piece of equipment. I will go to the equipment list. I'll select, uh, that's a train furnace. I'll pick that one. I'll come down here to expand for questions. And I can collapse that, by the way. Expand this for the questions. Did I inspect this? Did I tighten that? Did I do the other thing? Is it clean? Is it dirty? You can create questions of any kind. You can create drop-down menus, selection boxes, fill in the blanks, enter numbers, letters, only numbers, only letters, that kind of thing. This I kept simple for demo purposes, 
it's just a lot of yes and no questions. I can select whether or not the equipment is in excellent condition, fair condition, needs replaced, etc. I could also capture a signature if I wanted to. Now if I do capture a signature, it's going to render this form as uneditable. Once we get a signature, the form is now uneditable. And I'll type in the name of the person that printed, that signed, rather, signed the document. I'll select the date, and I will click Save. So that's been saved. Now, if I want to print that, I click the Print button, and the software will generate a PDF. Now, this PDF is based on your own company's documents. So earlier, you saw our checklist here. And there's the checklist. There's the signature. Technician comments, I forgot to put in comments. That's the PDF you saw earlier filled out from mobile. So you go into Aptora Mobile, you fill that out, and there it is, instantly available. Now, what if you want to look at it? In mobile, it's easy to go find it. You go to the customer list, and that was me. I'll put in James. We'll search for James. There I am. Open up James. Most of you know how mobile works because most of you already own mobile. Go down to document links. There's our document links. These are all those documents that we've been creating. Go to the document. You can see the document's properties. If you want to open it or download it, just click the link, and there it is. So you have instant access in mobile to that document. That means all of your managers, all of your coworkers have instant access to any of these documents, your sales proposals, your pre-sales and post-sales checklists, your system checkups, all of those things are available immediately. Now, of course, they're available in Total Office Manager, as you would expect. So let's go in here and search for my name, L-E-I-C, wait for it to find it, open me up, here I am. I'm on credit limit, I've got past due invoices. There's the pop-up notes, I'm on credit hold. So I'm a real deadbeat in this system, apparently. Here I am in Total Office Manager. Click Menu. Click Document Links. Here's a list of all those documents. If you want to see one of them, just double click on it, and there is the form. Now again, this could have been any form. It could have been a checklist, a sales proposal. It could have been financing paperwork. You can create any of these forms that you want to with or without an accompanying PDF. Now I'm going to show you how to do that in just a few moments but you can create any of these forms that you desire. Let's say, for example, that you wanted to create a checklist for an asset. In Total Office Manager, you're hopefully aware of the Asset Manager. This is where you put in all of your vehicles, all of your equipment, your pipe threading machines, things like that. So here I am looking at a vehicle. And as you probably know, in Aptora Mobile, you can go look at that vehicle. Let's go do that real quick. More, lists, go down to company assets, service van, which one did I pick? Service van, oh, service truck number one right there. Here it is. So now you're looking at the service truck. Click on the picture, there's a picture of it. That's the service truck that we're talking about. Now, in Total Office Manager, you would be able to see any documents that are associated with this vehicle. So let's fill one out real quick. Let's go back to Form Builder, click More, click Plugins, click Form Builder, and I'll do a Vehicle Inspection Report. And I'll click Create New, and I will hit Enter so I can see a whole list. And there's Service Truck 1. Notice it's listing all of the assets from Total Office Manager. This could be a pipe threading machine, it could be a forklift, anything that you want to show up. I'll click Next. There's the form. So this form is based on that PDF that you saw earlier. Notice that it automatically picked the asset ID, which I can open up the asset and look at it. There it is. So there's that service truck we looked at earlier. It's filled in the information, manufacturer, model number, serial number, et cetera. I can put in the mileage if I want to. 
Is the exterior clean? Yes. Is this good? Yes. Tire pressure okay? So all of these questions you created to match the PDF, and remember the PDF is optional, you're filling out the vehicle inspection report as needed. This is probably a manager. You can put in notes like damage noted. So let's put in some damaged notes. Recommended repairs, let's put in a few recommended repairs. And I'm just pasting gibberish in there, obviously. I don't type fast enough to put anything legitimate in there, but I sure know how to copy and paste. Done. Now I can capture that signature if you'd like, so we can sign it with our finger. Of course, you can open that up a little further and do a better job of signing it if you wanted to. Print the name like the UPS guy does. He looks at that mess of a signature and says, spell your name, please. Today's date. And we've got our vehicle inspection report filled out. Click Save. And that's that. Now, if you want to see it in mobile, you could go to the asset and open up the form, or we just click the print button right here and have a look at it. And there it is. So there's our vehicle inspection report, all filled out. In Total Office Manager, you can go to Document Links, and you have all of your inspection reports and everything else filled out. Double click and open it. Instant access. So imagine a manager going out in the parking lot and doing your weekly or monthly vehicle inspection reports. You could then print an exception report to say, I want to see all the vehicles that did not pass inspection. And I could ultimately put in a pass or failed question here, yes or no, pass or failed. You could mine that data and act on it if that's what you'd like to do. Now remember, you can have whatever kind of inspection reports you want, sales proposals, financing paperwork, anything you can imagine, you can add to the mobile software and access those forms anywhere you'd like. Now, one more thing I wanted to show you in mobile very quickly is the option of where to access these things. Let's click More, Lists. Let's go to Customer. And let's just open up, say, 24-Hour Fitness. Here you have the ability to add different forms to the customer or to the asset or to the work order. So if you were to open up a proposal or the cooling system checklist, it automatically selects the name for you. Here's the prior proposals you've filled out, none. You click Create New, and now, of course, it isn't going to ask you for the customer ID. It already knows the customer because that's where you came from, 24-Hour Fitness. So that way, you bypass the selection of the asset or the employee or the customer or whatever it is you're filling out. You decide where and what forms appear in mobile. Of course, each form has its own permission. You can grant access for this person, but not the other people. You have full control over who can get to what, just like you do in Total Office Manager. Let's take a look at how to build these forms. Let's open up Form Builder. This is the heart of the application. This is where all the work is done. Now, in this program, you simply open up a list of your templates, your form templates as we call them, and you can see the sales proposal, the vehicle inspection report. We have a couple of examples in here for educational purposes. We have the comprehensive cooling system checkup. That's my favorite, by the way. That is, now I know I'm going to sound real nerdy here, but that is becoming the ultimate checklist as far as I'm concerned for air conditioning and I have a heating version too but this to me is a really awesome form that would impress your customers as well as gather very important data anyway some of you don't care right you got your own ideas of what an important form is but that's the comprehensive cooling system checkup and if I want to double click on it I can see all the different fields that are available like the inspection date, the contact info, the contact name. You decide the questions. You decide what values can be put in here. 
you are the one adding all of the different fields and editing these different fields. So if you would like to create a drop-down menu that says maybe good, better, best, or past, failed, here's the vehicle inspection report. Let's go into that real quick. You might remember we had these different fields here that you could select from. There they are. You can put in whatever kind you want, pass, failed, etc. But that's where you build the template and add and update and edit the various fields. Uh, let's go to cooling system checkup. I think I have a drop down I wanted to show you. Technician comments. So here are the various fields in my new form. This would allow you to create a drop down menu so that you could inspect the different options and select which ones you wanted from that list. And I thought I had one in here to show you, but maybe I don't. That's where you build the various forms. There's also some handy features in here that allow you to make copies of existing forms. That way you can make a copy of somebody's form and build from that copy so you're not starting from scratch. You have different options, different properties that you can set for the various forms. Probably the easiest thing to do is to import an existing form. So here's how the process might start for building your own form in Form Builder. Start with a PDF, like maybe one of the PDFs I showed you. Like for example, the cooling system checklist, one of these forms here. You start with a form and you can import that form. So let's do it. Let's click Add Template. Let's give it a name and I'll just call it Test. Let's browse to the proposal. So I'm going to go find that proposal, the HVAC sales proposal right here. Click OK. It asks me if I want to import that proposal. Yes, I do. Now it shows me each field that it finds inside the proposal. And you can see there's 127 fields that it found. You simply go through the process of importing each field. The software tries to figure out the best selection for you. It, it uh, suggests names for your fields, etc. but you can edit any of that. Once you have gone through that process, you now can edit that particular template. And when you're ready, activate that template. Decide where the template is going to show up in mobile, like will you be able to access it from customers, sales opportunities, work orders, from an invoice, that kind of thing. Once it's activated, then it just shows up in the list. So if we go back into Aptora Mobile, click More, go to Plugins, go to the Form Builder, you would then see Proposal here, and you would be able to start filling out the proposal. Click Create New to fill it out. And that's it. That's how you do it. Now remember, all of these forms are instantly saved to the desktop application so that your coworkers can view that information instantly. If your mobile device has printing capability, you could print these. But what most people do, printing's rare these days, by the way, what most people do is they email them. So when you fill out one of these forms, you can email that to your client. And if your device can send an email, it can certainly email the PDF. You just simply highlight the PDF, depends on what kind of system you're on. Let's say you're on an Android system. You would generally highlight the PDF, and you would click the Share button, and it would ask Share with who, and you could type in an email address or pick somebody from your phone book and send them an email, and that's that. You don't have to email it to the office, of course, because they have it instantly. And that's it. That's how Form Builder works. It's that easy.